Have you ever wondered where the name for the shift key came from? Back in the days before computers, the shift key would actually cause a mechanical movement or shift in the parts of the typewriter. Before adding the shift key, typewriters were only able to type capital letters. While there are no mechanical movements when we press the shift key on a modern keyboard, the name is still around. These days, not only can you type capital letters using the shift key, but you can also type punctuation like the exclamation point and question mark. You can even perform special functions on your computer, like highlighting text without having to use a mouse. It's a pretty helpful and powerful key. You may have noticed that there are two shift keys on your keyboard. Take a second and have a look. There's one on both the right and left sides of the bottom row. This will help you keep your hands in the right position when using the shift key. To type a capital letter, first think about which hand should type that letter. Now, hold the shift key with the pinky on the opposite hand. Press the letter key at the same time and then let go of both keys. It might sound tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Just follow the on-screen hand and keyboard guides and you'll become a shift key master. Just one more thing. While you could hit the caps lock key each time you need to type a capital letter, tap the letter, and then tap the caps lock key again, that definitely isn't the best way to go about it. If you need to type many capital letters in a row, go for the caps lock key. Otherwise, shift is your best bet. Remember to take your time and be patient. You'll be typing capitals like a pro in no time.
Thank you.